Bays. It's your girl Brooke Brat going live with the Brie Talk. And child, we have to talk about this viral video of a mother cutting her daughter's hair because the father got the daughter's hair done by another woman. You heard it correctly, nigga shit. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if you're easily triggered, exit stage left. If you like to cape for black men, exit stage left. If you like to cape for hood rat hoes, exit stage left. This is not the video you're gonna find any type of support, morale, or encouragement, okay? It's not. You have been warned, okay? So let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. I will say this. If they had not shared it so publicly, my commentary wouldn't be necessary. Let's get into the mess. So this is where it starts. And for the record, I'm gonna get on both their asses, but let's start with Chase. <clears throat> I snuck up on my kids at daycare cause they mama Jayla don't let me see them. And I took my boys to get their hair cut and got my baby girl hair did. Look what her mama do just because I got my baby hair did. Mind y'all, this is not my Louisiana education, baby. This is their language, their vernacular. I'm Gucci, but my baby hurt. But females talk about deadbeats. This why some niggas say fuck that shit. And I remind you, she also smashed her B-Day cake on her B-Day last year. My girl always gonna always have hate in her heart. Daddy gonna get custody soon, baby. Hold on. Like they be me. crying. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. They motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Oh, that. Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. But you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feeling. You hurt my baby feeling. My, my, my baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. Stop playing with me. My baby said nobody did. Are y'all not tired? Are y'all not tired? First of all, I'm gonna get on you, Miss Mama. You're overweight, you're tired, overworked, and underpaid. Instead of you being appreciative that you have an active black man trying to father his children, you just, you just decide to act like a hood rat home. Black women don't, all we need to lift, let her go by the wayside. Mm -mm. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I'm tired. Prayer's not going to change that. She's been acting like that for a long time. People around her have been supporting this bad behavior. So I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. She perpetuates the stereotype. Are y'all not tired? Are you not tired? Did your mom do that to you? Is that why you're repeating the cycle? Why would you cut your daughter's hair? Do you feel your daughter's competition? And for those who get in the comments, a lot of mothers feel their daughters are competition. That's why they parent their daughters and love their sons, period, no matter the race. I'm not taking that back. Why? Why? To the father recording, you thought it was a great idea to make a public status with eight other people for your post to go viral of the video with your child in it, her face on this digital footprint. Both of y'all are trash ass parents. I don't feel sorry for you, sir. You said my baby mama, meaning you got her pregnant on multiple occasions, multiple, furthering the statistical data about black women leading in single parenthood. I'm not gonna commend you for being a active parent. That's what you're supposed to do. Instead of you spending $10 on a pack of condoms, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars in court. And oh, by the way, you think this video is going to help you, sir? I don't know. For the women who got the cape on, like, I can't believe she's going in on the father. It's sick. He didn't give a fuck about his kid. He did not give a damn about his kid and neither does she. 
He put in the post, and y'all be talking about deadbeat fathers, da da da. What does that have to do with your situation, sir? I would have respected you more if you took some ownership, like, hey, man, don't be like me. Wrap it up, something. But no. After the first baby, you should have known what type of woman she was. She didn't just start acting like this out of nowhere. You liked it when you was mid-stroke. And sis, while you out here popping off with your overworked, underpaid, overweight ass, embarrassing your black daughter, child, I can already tell that household is going to need a lot of mental counseling. Where is the village? Where is the village? Where is the village? Because baby, I'm tired. I'm tired. Instead of me getting ready to go snatch a daddy, I'm sitting up here giving commentary on trash ass parents. Both of you don't deserve children. Neither one of you. Neither one of you showed that you could be the better person. It's tit for tat, I can already tell. I can already tell. I'm just disgusted. But either way it goes, what are your thoughts on this? Do you go through this? Do you feel like he was in the right? Would you share a video on a public platform with your child crying, looking for sympathy? Trash ass individuals. Mm. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye hoes.